Licenses in SAP Business One must be assigned to users in order for them to unlock access to functionality in the system. Let's navigate to Administration, License, and License Administration to look at how to manage this. The License Administration window will display the name of the license server machine to which the company is connected and the port on which the license service runs. There are also some options at the bottom of the window, like the Refresh button. Click this before making any updates to ensure you are looking at the most recent changes in the window. Once you have refreshed the window, click the padlock icon to prevent other users from allocating licenses at the same time. Note that this will not prevent other super users from allocating licenses at the same time. On the left side of the window, we will find all the users in the system. As we highlight each user, we can view what licenses are and are not assigned to them as indicated by the used checkbox. For example, when we highlight Bill Levine, we can see that he is assigned a professional user license. Also notice that the available column displays a zero. This indicates that all the professional user licenses that we purchased for our company have been assigned. Under the Components tab, we can click the professional user license component to view the details on it. We can see that we purchased three licenses but zero are available because all three are assigned to the users under the Allocation tab. If we want to find out who these three users are, we could go back to the Allocation tab and click through all the users, or we could just go to the Assignment tab. The check mark indicates that Bill has been assigned to a professional license. If we scroll down, we can see that Kathleen and Jason Butler are the other two users that licenses have been assigned to. Back at the Allocation tab, we can easily manage our license allocation now that we know what users they have been assigned to. In this case, Kathleen no longer works for the company. First, we can find Kathleen in the user list and highlight her name. Then, we can uncheck all the checkboxes to unassign the licenses. Notice that now we have one professional user license available. We can then find our new user, Bob Schoen, and allocate the license to him. As a rule, we can also assign all of the licenses that the system indicates almost 100,000 are available. They may not be needed by the user, but since there are so many, you can assign them to every user in the system. Be sure to update your changes. When you are trying to figure out what licenses to purchase for your company, you need to figure out what kind of access your users will need to the system. For example, professional licenses enable a user to access all system functionality, assuming they are also granted the relevant authorizations or are a super user. To help you figure out what licenses will be necessary based on your company needs, you can use the license comparison chart. This chart shows you each of the main user licenses and the functionality that they give access to. Consider, for instance, the chart of accounts in the financials module. If your user will need to use this function, they must be assigned either the starter package user, professional, or the limited financials license. If you are an existing client, you can find this license comparison chart on the B1 share in your file explorer under the LBSI SAP Business One documentation folder. If you cannot find the chart or you are not an existing client, send an email to us at sapsupport at lbsi.com and we can provide it to you. Once your licenses are assigned, you can then grant the user access to functionality using the general authorizations. To understand the relationship between the license and the authorization, think of the license as providing the door to the functionality and the authorization is what unlocks the door. In the case of our user Bob Schoen, we gave him a professional license. Therefore, we have provided his user a door to every function in the system. Now we can use the authorization to determine which doors are locked and which ones are unlocked. Or, in other words, which functionality is set to no authorization and which are set to full authorization. For more information on the authorizations, check out our how-to video on the general authorization window. Allocating licenses through the license administration window is just one example of how SAP Business One provides you the tools you need to maintain your database as the company grows and changes through the years. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turning on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. 
You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.